Hey guys, Daily Tech here, and today we're going to be looking at a new way that's a little bit weird to get the PS Move controllers to rotate properly as you move around in Steam VR. For over about a year now, we've been using the start and select combo on the controllers like this to get them calibrated to work in Steam VR. For the most part, it's been working pretty decently, however, a number of people have noticed some problems that come when you start hitting that start and select combo. When you turn around in Steam VR, your controllers don't really turn with you as you would normally would expect. Instead of turning very smoothly as your body goes around, they turn in some weird eclipse and go firing way off to the sides or something like that. So a hipster slot from the PS Move service has actually done a little bit of a custom update to help solve this issue. The fix is really, really simple, but it is quite effective. So what we're going to do is take a look on how to set that up really quickly and then give it a test. Now, as I mentioned, at the time of filming, this is still just a custom build. It is, however, most likely going to be added to the next version of the PS Move service. So depending on when you're watching this, it might already be a part of the normal download for it. The update is based on the 1.4.0 PS Move Free Pi Bridge download. So if you do check for any type of new releases and notice there's one higher than that, chances are this has already been added, so make sure you check the release notes. But for now, you can just download that custom version from the description below. What this update does is it eliminates the need to use the start and select combo for the controllers. Now all it's really doing is just getting rid of that little logo that pops up that says to do the calibration, because without doing it, that logo is going to stay there forever. So that's just the first part, it gets rid of that logo, but the second part is where it adds an offset that you can add manually. Because when you do that calibration, that's what's telling your controllers at what height they should be at. So without doing it, we need to set that height manually, and that's the second part that you can put in. So let's head over to the PC, and we'll see how to get this thing all configured, and we'll take a quick peek at a comparison. First thing to do is download and install that new custom build. Just install or update as you normally would. I'm going to do the initial setup just for good measure. Once that's complete, open up steamvr.vr settings, and you'll need to add this section right here. This part simply disables the pop-up from showing up on your screen to do the calibration. And the second part adjusts the offset of how high the controllers are. As far as I'm aware, this measurement is the relationship between the head tracker and the controllers. Since we're no longer doing the calibration to mark where the controller should be, this will need to be set to match your setup. The easiest way to do this is to just modify it as you go, and keep testing things out until it looks best. For me, the setting you see here is what works best in my setup. Now let's take a look at what happens when you do the calibration versus when you don't do the calibration in a side by side. On the left side, you'll see that I've done the calibration with the start and select hotkey. And on the right side, I have not done it. Now I'm just going to turn around in a circle holding the controllers at the same distance from my body the entire time. But you'll notice on the left side how the controllers move in more of an elliptical manner and not as you would typically expect. The right side where I'm doing this, you can see how when I turn, the controllers stay at the same distance and remain in the correct spot the entire time. Now you may notice that my calibration is jittering a little bit, but this is because I haven't used my PS Move setup for a while because I've been using my Pimax and Nolo. So jittering like this isn't really normal and that's a different issue altogether. So that's about it to get this update working properly. If it helped you out, remember, leave the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Because the results I got from this were surprisingly well and I hope you guys get the same thing from it. So as I said previously, this is just a custom build right now and I'm going to try to update the description with the actual build once it is released. But I am pretty sure we are going to see this on the next update because it is working quite well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.